Hi everyone and welcome back to Thrifted Living. My name is Kieran and today is going to be another Make It Monday video except that this video is going to be posted on Tuesday. Unfortunately I was really sick yesterday. I was having an allergic reaction to something. Thankfully I finally feel better now. So for today's video we are going to be making a teacher toolbox. I made something like this many years ago. Actually when these shelves were first released I made something but I wanted to try to make it a different way now and try to like change it up a little bit. I'm a teacher so I'm always thinking about the back to school time and different ways that I can organize myself in my classroom. I've been using my teacher toolbox in my classroom for years. It works perfectly. But I wanted to kind of adjust the idea a little bit and add a couple new things to it and change some things to make it a little more functional and just to have like a couple more features to it. So the products that I'm going to be using today, I may or may not be using hot glue. I have to decide. I do want to attach everything together, but at the same time, I kind of like the idea of it just sort of sitting next to itself and then you can readjust it any way you want. So we're going to be using these collapsible bins. They open like that. I found these in the like the stationary section at Dollar Tree, so this is what they look like. This is the smaller size. They do have some larger ones, but I wanted to use the smaller ones. I'm also going to be using these plastic drawers. I got these at Dollar Tree many years ago. I've been using them to organize washi. I love these. I will also be using these drawers. I like them because they're a little bit taller and they have the little pull handle, which I like. These are a little wider, which have a good function, but I also really like this. I also have some labels I want to try to use. I feel like I'll probably use these. These are multi-use labels. I have a couple organizers like this. They are called vanity organizers. I thought maybe I could use these too. I'm just going to start organizing these items. Some of them are going to be really easy to organize. So I'm just opening this and it kind of just like clips into place. And now all I have to do is put these right in here and five of them fit in here perfectly. I've done similar projects using these baskets and these drawers. So that's why I already have seen how many can fit. We have five little drawers of washi tape that'll go on one side. Open up the other basket. Just using this for washi, you could definitely use it for other things in your classroom or on, on your desk space. Just it's definitely customizable to whatever you need it to be. I have five things of washi on this side. So what I love is I'm going to attach these drawers like this right here in the middle. I'm trying to decide if I want to do two rows of three or if I want to do three rows of two. I think two rows of three because then that'll be almost exactly very similar to the height of that. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Dollar Tree sells these quite frequently. So if they don't have any at your store right now, they'll probably get some in the future. And they do sit nicely one on top of the other. So that's why I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to glue them because I don't really know that it needs to be glued. All right, so we have six right here in the middle. And like I said, you could attach these with hot glue or you know, different things, but I just don't think I want to have it attached like that because I don't think it'll benefit me to not be able to really, because it's just going to be sitting in one spot. It doesn't really need to move around. So then I was thinking maybe I could put two or one like this. I think two would be cool. Two on top like this. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that actually looks pretty cool. What would you guys do? Would you hot glue this all together or use zip ties or would you just leave it like this so that you could change it as you need to? What would you guys do? I just don't want to hot glue it if I'm just going to end up moving things around in the future. Could do more, but I think that would be too much. What do you guys think? I do have more of these little drawers or these little organizers. I think that might be too much. What do you guys think? So I could do like this and then have pens, pencils, all of that kind of stuff organized up here. And then like staples, paper clips, all of that kind of stuff through here. Maybe that would work because these drawers are gonna be too shallow to fit pens and stuff like that in it. So I think having more, more space up on top to have those things organized might be a better idea. Now I'm going to take these labels and start labeling the different sections. And then I'm going to start organizing some stuff in it. 
and I will share that process with you guys. I'm going to start making some labels for this. What I'm thinking is I'm not going to be able to actually organize a lot of it right now because a lot of the stuff that I use a lot like paper clips I already have in my classroom. So I'm thinking I'm just going to write what these would be as an idea for you guys. And then when I actually bring this to my classroom, I will add the different items to it. I'm going to write some of the things I would use. Staples, paper clips. I would use binder rings. Let's see if these fit. They might be a little too long. And then I, you can just lift that up and put it right here. Oh no, it's perfect. Awesome, that fits actually perfectly. Paper clips, staples, paper clips, binder rings. What else? Binder clips. In the comments, if you guys are thinking of things that I'm completely forgetting, please share those with me. I, I know I have a lot of these things in my classroom already set up, but I'm just, I can't remember. Now we have everything labeled for that part. I'm not gonna label these because you can e more easily see inside of them. These are clear but they have a little bit of like a a quality to them that makes it a little harder to see through like um, they're almost like a little cloudy but like i said i will actually put thing these items in these organizers when i get to school but since i don't have a lot of this stuff at home i won't be able to organize that so now i'm going to organize some markers and pencils and things like that up here i'm going to start with some pencils i'm going to do those in the back because they're taller Okay, we have pencils. Next, we have some markers. These are like the, the markers used for like planning. And we have some Sharpies as well. I have some glitter markers that I can organize right there. Twistable colored pencils, because they are taller as well. Twistable colored pencils, here's another marker. And since it's not connected, I can actually just bring it, I can actually just bring it over to me to add the items too. This I think would be good if it was set up against like a wall, you know, on a desk in like one location, just so it can't move around too much. But then that way you have a little bit more flexibility. Like if you want to bring just these markers over to your desk, you can. Let's see what the crayons look like in here. Oh yeah, that's the perfect height for the crayons. What do we think about this? last one I'll show you guys a little closer it's just really kind of shallow it's not that deep at all I'll just leave it like this and I think it's all done now I would like to take the camera and share with you what this teacher toolbox looks like a little more closely here is the completed teacher toolbox I really love how this looks I think it's going to be really functional in my classroom so here on the top I have pens pencils crayons markers all of the different things that I can use for writing on top I think it'll be easier to see everything I have and just easier to get what I need and here I have all of the shelves I love how how these look I think they're going to be really functional in my classroom I love how I'm able to have so many different shelves and different drawers I think it's going to be really helpful especially on these sides to see the washi tape the different styles that I have and then right here in the middle this will probably be the part that gets the most use because I use a lot of paper clips staples all of those different things in my classroom I think this is really cool and it's a great addition to the project that I made many years ago when I created a different teacher toolbox I love that I have a couple different drawers systems on this so the three sections in the middle that I have are more like the last organizer that I had made the one that I made like six or seven years ago and I actually glued those together and I was able to have everything organized like that in one spot but then I was able to just now add these other drawers to the side which I really like because they serve different functions in this piece I like that I added these to the top because now I'm able to have different types of writing utensils on top. So the big difference that I have between this project and the one that I did many, many years ago is that it's not glued together. It's not connected with zip ties. It's completely separated. No parts are glued together at all. I like that I'm actually able to take certain things and just lift them and bring them with me. So if I need pencils, I can bring this one with me. I could go through and organize everything like that where I have just Sharpies in this one, just the 
um, twistable colored pencils in this one. Definitely an upgrade from, from what I made before and it adds a few more things that I felt like the last organizer was missing. So in the comments below I would like to know would you guys use this in your classroom if you're a teacher or if you are homeschooling or if you're just using this on your desk at your home would you use this project and if so how would you organize it would you glue it together or use zip ties to connect it or would you let it be something that where each individual piece is separate and that's it for today's make it monday video posted on tuesday i hope you enjoyed this project give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this and if you've been trying any of my dollar tree diy projects and would like to share pictures with me i would love to feature those pictures in upcoming diy videos feel free to share those pictures with me on facebook at thrifted living on instagram at thrifted living youtube or through gmail at thriftedliving at gmail.com thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in my next video Bye.